Good. When I say down, you're going to drop forward on your face or on your, on your forearms. You're going to turn around into a back fighting stance. You're going to stand up immediately, throwing that transition kick, then you're going to engage any pad that you see. Make sense? So you're going to be dizzy. It's just like you got hit, you got knocked down, you got to stand right back up. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You're striking, you're striking, you're striking everything you've got that's safely. Right? If I'm here, I'm not going to throw a groin kick because you're not going to hold for it. Right? I don't want any injuries. Make sense? Yes, sir. Good. I don't care what strikes you use, though. I want to see you mix them up. I want to see good continuous motion striking. Now, at any time, anyone can drop a pad and attack you with any choke. But you have to deal with it. I want to see hard, aggressive combatants when you deal with it. When you get out of the choke, back to the pad, striking as hard as you can. At any time, anyone can tag you on the head with their hand, give you a nice tap, not this, and not boom. I'm not going to do this up. Like this. And then you're going to turn around, face the hands up. You're defending against 360s, inside defense low, inside defense high. Gotcha. Questions? No, sir. About good pad holding. Good pad holding, guys. When I say down, you're going to get down on the ground into a ground fighting position. One person is going to target you here, and they're just going to move around you. Boom, boom, boom. You can switch. Boom, boom, boom. You can give me kicks. Kick. Here. Wow. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot to remember. And then when I say up, you get back up. Throw that transition kick. Clear. It's clear.